What's up guys, Carl Topia here. So uh, it's Friday and uh, there's no more baseball. And I thought I'd do a um, quick little break. We'll bring back beer and baseball cards. So um, we have here a Modern Times uh, beer that is from a brewery in San Diego. The beer is called City of the Sun. It's a hoppy and juicy IPA. Uh, comes in at about 7%, I believe, 7.6% alcohol. Um, so let's get that cracked. And I've had this beer before. It's very good. Uh, not one of my top IPAs, but certainly worth drinking again. So put that right there. Let's see how it pours. And uh, Yep, that is pure, juicy, hoppy IPA. So I uh, stopped by Walgreens today and I actually found one of these baseball prime packs with one hobby pack, two packs, and the bonus card. So um, decided to pick that up. Looks like we have a, um, I think that's Topps Archives from 2018 in there. So that was pretty good. They had about three or four of these, but I left some, decided I just picked up this one instead. And uh, let's get right to it. So I've seen these open. I think uh, a few of the channels that I follow have uh, opened one of these. I think John from John Sports Cards did. I think Andy has. So yes, we do have a 2018 Topps Archives. That's pretty cool. The uh, bonus card is just a Justin Verlander All-Star Game card. We've got a 2018 Series 1. And we've got the Prism, which is the hobby. So I'm gonna open the hobby first. I'm gonna open up the Prism. And I'm not a huge fan of the Prism product, but we'll see what we get in there. Now, if you guys remember from my last video, well, actually it wasn't my last video, but one of my previous videos. Um, I said I was not going to be buying any more Fairfield Pharmacy boxes. Uh, that's sort of true. Um, I actually, in addition to the Prime Pack, uh, you know, picked up a $5 pharmacy box. Why? Because I saw this guy, David Wright, for my Mets. He was the first card in the box. And... Um, I'll go through that at the end real quick, but I was actually pleasantly surprised and glad that I did pick up the box. Uh, I guess I had $5 burning a hole in my wallet. So here we go, 2013 Prism. Let's see what we get. Ken Griffey Jr. It's actually a nice card. Good player to get. Tori Hunter. Marcel Ozuna. I think he was with the Marlins. Yep, Miami Marlins. His rookie card. A Joe Maurer, USA baseball card. That's actually not bad. Joe Maurer was a pretty good player. It's kind of a sweet looking card too. See, I don't mind this because that's USA baseball, not major league teams which don't have the logos. Then we got James Shields and Ian Kinsler. So not a bad pack. I'll take it. Um, let's save the archives for last. And then let's go to the 2018 Series 1. So, the uh, box costs $8.99. Um, not quite sure it's worth it. I mean, it would put each of these packs at about, you know, three dollars a pack because the card's really not worth much that they give. Um, yeah, so I, probably a little overpriced. I mean, you really need to get some kind of a, a decent hit, not necessarily an auto or you know, but just a really decent card, rookie card or something like that, in order to make back the money for the box. But it's always fun to open some packs. So here we got uh, Brett Phillips, Dylan Bundy. Starlin Castro, 
A Dominic Smith rookie card. Nice for my PC. I'll take that. So that kind of makes it worth it. Oh, Reese Hoskins. And this is a... What is this? The... Uh, I forget what they call these. These are like the... It's an insert series, but that's a sweet card. Reese Hoskins rookie. So we got a Derek Jeter insert. Always good to have Derek Jeter inserts. All right, cards of his of any kind. We got Chase Utley. We got the Boston B Boys. We've got Anthony Banda rookie card. Matt Moore. John Gray. Randall Grichuk, and a security tag. So not bad. Score a couple of nice rookies in that one. Let's go to the archives. Really hoping to hit one of these Sandlot movie cards. That'd be pretty cool. This is actually one of my favorite baseball movies. I don't believe I opened up a lot of this archives last year. Actually, I don't even know if I opened any of it. All right, here we go. Dallas Keuchel. Aaron Judge, that's a sweet card. Mike Moustakis. Carlos Correa. Nice, a lot of star power on this. And there it is. Nice. Excellent. Sandlot. We got the ha Hamilton Porter card. That is fantastic. I'll take that. We got Ryan Braun. Kyle Seeger. Oh, yes! And an Acuna Jr. rookie card. Fantastic. So there we go. Like that right there, that made it all worth it. So that was a, that was a fun little rip. But uh, as I said, I also bought a $5 box. And I ranted on these $5 boxes the last time when we did the football and baseball comparison because I really did not get much out of it. Um, was not happy with them at all. And uh, I don't know if there's just something that, you know, again, because it had David Wright on it. Um, you know, that's the reason, real reason why I bought it. Because uh, I don't have this card. And uh, so let's just go through. There was no real highlights. There's a Kevin Ploiecki, Future Stars cards also for my PC. So there's those from 2017, I believe. No, 2016, sorry. Um, there's a Stadium Club John Valentin. Somewhere at the top. Now this, what I liked about this box too, after I got through it, was not necessarily, um, you know, that I got great cards. There's still a lot of commons in here, but this was what I what I expect from a uh, Fairfield Pharmacy box, which is a good mix of cards, um, you know, both by brand and by year. Uh, some newer, some older. Um, they were all in great condition. Um, I'm sure I'm filling some holes for like this, you know, 87 set, which I do not have uh, all the cards for. Those are Frank White. Uh, this was worth it so this is a uh, Fleer Fall Classic and it's Daryl Strawberry for the Mets so that's kind of a I wouldn't call it oddball it's a 2003 card but it's a decent card it's one that I did not have so that'll go to my Mets PC so then we got a um, we got an Ernie Riles Rick Aguilera from Mets we got David Cohn Mets so lots of Mets in this, bo in this box which also is great uh, let's see if I can get to some. There's a 88 Donruss. Um, there's a Fleer Ultra for 92. There's a Fleer Metal. Those are always cool. Let's see. There's a Darren Dalton from 90. There's an Eckersley, so there's a Hall of Famer there. Some, there were some 90s upper deck in here. There's a, some more Fleer. There's another upper deck. Brian Barnes, rated rookie. Got yeah, nothing huge. Max Venable, back to 87 tops. And 90 score. So that was, this is like the first half. So now it's back to some 2016. Right. No real big names here. And there's a Carlos Perez. With Mike Trout, it's Ken Phelps. Always looks like you're either gym teacher or science teacher or something from high school. We have a 
Sid Fernandez. That's a sweet card for my PC. There's another Ken Phelps. A bunch of 87. Again, nobody big. Terry Pendleton, decent ball player. So, just to give you an idea of like what's in here, there's some more the top stadium club. Pinnacle. There's a 90 leaf, I believe. Yep. And there's some 91 Fleer, which nobody likes, but hey, it was a Ludiger in there. And uh, let's see. Oh, there's a 80. Don't remember what it is. 86 Fleer, Tom Browning. More top there's a Mark McGuire for 91 Fleer, so that's a nice card. Jose Uribe card. I think everybody has heard by now about this card. I am a rich man. Yuck, yuck. Everybody like talks about this card because they've seen it sell for so much on like eBay. Um, it's really, you know, pretty much a worthless card. It's uh, Jamie Moyer. There's a Robin Yount. It's a Hall of Famer too. So a couple Hall of Famers overall, not bad. Uh, the pack that was in it. So we'll get to that in a second after these two cards. Uh, the pack that was in it was 91 score, and it was a complete dud. Mookie Wilson, Andy Hawkins, some Mel Stoudemire Jr. rookie prospect card, Derek May rookie prospect card. This is a draft pick card for Don Peters. That was pretty much and then Les Lancaster, R.J. Reynolds, John Wetland was going in the garbage. Mickey Hatcher, not not a single Hall of Famer in the bunch, um, so that was a really dud pack. But um, so hope everybody's enjoying their Friday night. And uh, I will be going to a Dwight Gooden uh, autograph signing tomorrow that a friend of mine is running. So I'm going to get a, a probably a ball or a card autographed by him. Um, I will try and take some video footage if I can. But if I can't, and I'll just uh, show you guys what I got. And uh, hope you guys all enjoy your weekend. Cheers. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.